So I'm gonna start off with a bowl of plain Versagel. This Versagel doesn't have anything in it. It's straight out of the bucket. Then I'm gonna go in with coconut oil. Um, it might look like I'm freehanding, but I'm not. It's little markings on the other side of the bottle, like on the paper side in the front. Um, I don't add it all in at once because I can tend to have a heavy hand. And as you can kind of see, um, I can be messy with this sometimes. And it can like go outside of the bowl. So to keep me from wasting product, I just add a little bit in at a time. And then by the time I'm done with it, I've added the complete measurement of oil into the bowl. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is stop it with the spatula. I can't do it anymore. My arms was burning even just after the couple of minutes of me stirring. So this is what I usually do when I put the oils into the rest of the gel. I use a hand mixer. Um, I don't use like a bowl mixer because I feel like with that you don't really have much control. Like you can set the speed but you can't really control like where the movement goes. So I like to use a hand mixer. Um, I bought this hand mixer from Kroger. Um, I only use this hand mixer for a lip gloss. This lip, this mixer does not go in my kitchen. It does not leave my lip gloss area. Even the bowls and spatulas and stuff that I use is only specifically for my lip gloss stuff. So I would never use any of this stuff for food. Never ever mix or use the stuff out of your kitchen to make lip gloss because food um, residue and leftover stuff can get into your lip gloss and that's really unsanitary. So just make sure everything that you're using to make lip gloss is only for lip gloss. Do not go in your kitchen and use stuff that you use to cook and eat with. Very unsanitary. But yeah, um, when you're using a hand mixer, um, you want to keep the speed down. You want to keep it on low because the higher the speed, the more bubbles that, that is created through the Versa gel. I wish I would have like showed y'all like how it is now. So like right now I got it on a pretty low speed. I think it's only on like one or two. Um, if you can see like in the bowl, it's still super clear. Um, I am going to turn the speed up in this video so you can see how the Versa gel is going to start to turn white because the bubbles um, are starting to form. So to keep from having bubbles, so just keep the speed down on low and just take your time with it. Make sure you're moving it around. If you have to stop and stir to, to see what the consistency is like, do that. But make sure you always keep the speed down low to refrain from having a lot of bubbles.
okay so this is what i was talking about if you can tell i brought the speed up and now the versa gel in the bowl is starting to turn a light white color like not white but it's getting there that's because see you look you see it i turned the speed all the way up and now more bubbles are forming so now it's not as clear um it will be clear like once i put it into the um tubes because it's clear i mean i haven't put any color in there but just to keep you from having a lot of bubbles in your tubes keep the um speed down on low Okay, now I'm just checking the consistency. Um, the consistency is great for me. Um, people might think this is too runny, but I think it's good. Um, this is mainly the consistency I use. I don't like thick lip gloss. Now, if you want a thicker lip gloss, um, put less oils. Um, if you want thinner, put more oils. But this is the perfect consistency for me. Um, just the right amount um creamy like if i want to use this um same like lip gloss for color i can just put the pigment in there and just go on about my day yeah so now i'm just showing y'all how the clear um lip gloss looks inside of one of my tubes um it probably looks like i'm not really showing you anything because the lip gloss is so clear like it's crystal clear like it looks like it's empty but um, this formula took a very long time to um, figure out. And um, this is what clear lip gloss should look like. It should not look bubbly or cloudy or anything like that. It should look clear, just like this. But that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if y'all want more lip gloss making videos, just let me know in the comment section. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.